Wake up Africa, your time has come Open up your eyes and see the sun Open up your spirit Welcome to Africa Watch on the Dr. Mumbi Show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I'm reporting live from Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, uh, where we're here on an investigative mission. Uh, exciting things ahead, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know every single time we upload an episode. Now, some very, very sad and disturbing news uh, coming out of Zambia. Allegedly, 28 people have died after drinking bleach to cleanse their sins. I mean, this is crazy. You know now, this is too much, imagine. <laughs> this, is too, this is too much. So what happened is, um, these, the congregants of this church, although they haven't mentioned the church, they, were, they went to a sermon, uh, just on like any regular Sunday, and they were talking to, uh, and, you know, the prophet, prophet of doom and death, um, he was talking to his congregants and he said, you know, he understood that there were a lot of them that were dealing with demons. I mean, seriously, I can't even, this is, it hurts. I mean, you want to laugh, but it actually hurts. Um, and he was, he, so he convinced his congregants, um, you know, he called, you know, the way they do in church, they make an altar call where they're like, yo, if you're being disturbed by demons uh, and you want to get rid of them, please come to the altar. So all, you know, about, they say maybe like 40 people actually came to the altar and he handed them Jick. And Jick is like a well-known bleaching agent. I mean, seriously, this is crazy. And uh, each of them, you know, they all took a sip. Next thing, people just started falling to the ground and dying. And by the way, I haven't heard that this pastor or prophet or whoever he is has been arrested or anything. And the shocking thing is, among the 28 people that died, can you imagine that, like, there were teachers and nurses? <laughs> I can't believe it. Two nurses are among the dead and four teachers. Who are those nurses taking care of and who are those teachers teaching? Because how do you take Jake to get rid of demons? Imagine Kenya, we have, I mean, <laughs> not even Kenya, Africa, we have a problem. And I totally agree with all these different, you know, presidents, because we've seen Kagame, we've also seen South, the South African government trying to deal with these, you know, prophets and pastors who are literally using the tool of the colonizer, you know, the tool of the missionary that came and colonized Africa to colonize their own people and get super rich. And it's just wrong. And it's just wrong. And, you know, the fact that they're using this whole white Jesus to confuse our people is terrible. And so I, the sad thing is that they actually imagine how much you have to trust and believe in your, pe in your past for them to convince you to take bleach. Do, pe no, do people know what is in bleach? And this is just, it's really, really sad. A couple of weeks ago, we also saw um, a congregation fighting after the prophet or the man of God, which God is this, uh, told his congregates to fight, the, to fight the demons out of one another. You're, I'm not making this up. So guys started bouting in church to get rid of each other's demons. We have a problem. We have a problem. So uh, what do you guys think should be done? Really, religion is just wreaking havoc on our people. And you know, they say ignorance is bliss, but to be honest, knowledge, <sighs> you know, ignorance is, the, what does they say? Our people perish for a lack of knowledge. Cause which God out there would ask you to drink bleach to get rid of demons? <laughs> anyway, I'll keep you posted on this uh, situation. Until next time. Mwah.